following program is a presentation of the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network, produced by Hilltopper IMG Sports Marketing. WKUPBS will return to this channel at the conclusion of the program. Coach's Corner with Jeff Brom is brought to you by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Bluegrass Cellular, your community expanded. Interventional pain specialist. Pain is inevitable, suffering is optional. Pizza Hut, home of the big dinner box. Make it great. Taco Bell, Taco Bell's new dollar cravings menu, Taco Bell, because sometimes you gotta live moss. Toyota Bowling Green, we take care of people. UPS. Today's logistics of the games are delivered by UPS. Information about how UPS can put the power of logistics to work for you at thenewlogistics.com and by WKONA. Nowhere to go. Welcome to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. This is a special edition. Our guest today will be Forrest Lamp and Cam Thomas. Coach will not be here this week due to the bye week. We'll be back to you after these messages. This Conference USA report is brought to you by HitSense, the exclusive presenter of WKU's inaugural Conference USA season. HitSense, dream it real. When you're part of a community, you feel empowered, like you can handle anything. Because no matter what happens, you have the support of those around you people who genuinely care. With Bluegrass Cellular's 4G nationwide coverage and all the latest smartphones and devices, you can go anywhere and do anything because your community will be with you, supporting you every step of the way. Bluegrass Cellular, your community, expanded. Gunnerman Group is a go. Oh. Yes! <laughs> Not just a startup, an upstart. <sighs> Gotta get going. Gotta be good. Good? Good. Growth is the goal. How do we do that? I talked to UPS. They'll help us out. New technology, smart advice. We focus on the business, and they take care of the logistics. UPS. Good going. We get good? That's great. 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 <laughs> I love logistics. Anybody else think Coke seems to taste pretty great at McDonald's? Well, join the club. Is it because any size Coke is only a dollar? Or because fries and a Coke really hit the spot? Whatever it is, when any size Coca-Cola, soft drink, or sweet tea is just a buck, there's something for everyone to love at McDonald's. are cracking down on drinking and driving. Drive sober or get pulled over. Western Kentucky students, parents, alumni, and fans, we have the exclusive WKU debit card available for you. Open a regular checking account with South Central Bank and ask for one today. We are South Central Bank, small enough to know you, WKU fans. And big enough to help. We now offer e-statements, mobile banking, and remember, the official debit card of WKU Athletics. Get yours today at any South Central Bank location. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. I like that Passport's right here in Kentucky. That's why I choose Passport. We choose Passport because there's no cost to us. I choose Passport because they helped my mom get the care she needed. We choose Passport because of her. Why will you choose Passport? Call 1-800-578-0603 and choose Passport, a proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Passport Health Plan, we take the time to care. This week's injury update is brought to you by WKONA. They want you to know where to go.
Welcome to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletic. You at the Coach's Show right now with uh, Cam Thomas and Forrest Lamp. Man, it's good to have you guys. I appreciate it. Man, one of my, I don't want to say favorites, but it's, it's really important that you guys can make it out. Uh, family, how important is family for you, Cam? Family is very important to me. It's uh, definitely in the forefront of my mind when I, you know, think about everything that I do and, you know, the decisions I make, whether it be good or bad. Uh, family has been instilled in me by my mom, who is basically my, my backbone. And I'm the only boy and I'm the baby, so I've been beat up and abused by my two older sisters and my older cousin. But uh, all the women in my family are definitely my motivation to do what I do. So you mean your sisters beat you up? So that's how the receivers get. Do they, the receivers don't do that, right? <laughs> nah, my my sisters are actually good fighters, and they taught me how to fight. So definitely, that's where my mentality, you know, the, the toughness comes from. It's in where I'm from in Patterson, New Jersey, and it brings out the toughness in me. Oh, Forrest, man, coming from Florida, man, it's the Sunshine State, and mm -hmm. uh, you come here to WKU, and your dad played two years at Florida State. Mm -hmm. How you know how big is football in your family? Uh, football is a huge part of my family. Uh, we've been playing, me and I have three younger brothers, and like you said, my dad played, and me and my brothers have played since, in Pop Warner since we were in elementary school, and it's just a real big part. My uh, two brothers just graduated high school, and they played all four years in high school, and uh, my youngest brother's a sophomore now, and he's, this, is his, uh, this is his second year playing in high school, and I'm sure he'll finish his next two years. So what position are they playing? Huh? Uh, they play, my two, I have twin brothers who just graduated high school. <clears throat> They played a uh, defensive end, and now they're just going to a uh, community college in uh, in Venice. And uh, my youngest brother, Hunter, he's uh, on the JV team. He plays quarterback and safety. Oh wow! So we got a chance to get some of the Forrest family over here too. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope so. You know, that's that's how we recruit. But I remember you coming here, mm -hmm. and how much you, you weighed? What two hundred and what? I was like two sixty, maybe two sixty five coming in. Wow, how much you weigh now? Uh, like 290, 295. So now you're you eating a lot. Now, yeah. Right? You, <laughs> you your your parents told me you was eating a lot before too, though. Yeah. So, but now since you came here, you just take advantage of what yeah, we Yeah, the meal plans help out. <laughs> oh, that's good. So, Cam, when you came and uh, making that transition from high school to college, how was it for playing defensive back? Uh, it was very difficult at first because it was funny how I started playing defensive back because I played quarterback my entire career since I was five up until my sophomore year of high school. And just one day we were doing one-on-ones and I had a break from throwing and I was joking with my, my coaches and my uh, teammates and said, I'll, let me cover you. And I did and I actually broke up a play. My coach was like, that looked good, keep going. And I kept on going and I, they actually didn't catch a pass on me out of 10 attempts. And so they were just like, let's throw him in there at DB, see what he does. And since my junior year of high school, you know, just been playing DB and then going to uh, Milford Academy and then coming here. You know, my, every year I just, you know, try to work on the little things in my game and it's definitely increased over the years and I've been blessed to, you know, be ranked as one of the highest DBs in the country, so I'm blessed. Man, that's, that's really good. So from when you went from high school to the academy, what happened? What caused you to go there? Uh, basically, I broke my ankle the senior year, my second game of the season, and uh, I had some trouble academically. And so, I, you know, I, one of those roles that I didn't want to take, but I had to take, and I went to the academy and you know, played for a sub semester there and got got my scholarships and Coach Taggart came along and snatched me out of New York and came here and glad to be a top now. And I am surprised. I didn't know they played football in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a basketball player at heart, but I mean, football is, is definitely, you know, the, the love, love uh, I love playing football, actually. And Forrest, I mean, offensive line, man, you've been mm -hmm. consistent. 15 straight games of starting, not being injured. Let's knock on knock table, on knock, knock on wood, and being extremely healthy. Mm -hmm. Man, how is the camaraderie with the offensive of linemen? Uh, it's, it's really good. We uh, everybody gets along great. We're all like basically like brothers, and I mean we're all brothers on the football team. But the offensive line is a little bit closer just because we're together all the time in meetings and outside of meetings. We're always hanging out in each other's houses or apartments, and it's really good. I saw you guys at the softball game, man. I, I couldn't <laughs> believe the linemen. They're looking pretty good. They had their shirts off yeah. and excited. Yeah. Is that how you guys, that's what you guys do all the yeah, time? Yeah, just uh, like anywhere we go, we're always together, whether it's just offensive linemen or sometimes we hang out the DBs if they're invited. You, you, but, you uh, let them hang out with you guys? I didn't, sometimes. Yeah. We don't really like them to come around because, I mean, we got to, you know, preserve the food. And if, if they come around, then it's definitely not happening. Take a, um, talk about that. I know the food. I mean, since you've been here, is that a big difference? I mean, when you guys go out, you got, don't just go out and have, like, a regular meal. Yeah. You talking about, it, like, restaurants? Yeah, restaurants. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, 
it's just like the, mo the older I get and the bigger I get, like the more I eat. When I was younger, you know, in high school and stuff like that, you go to a restaurant and you just get like one meal and that's fine. But now we go out and you get two meals or a meal and an appetizer just for yourself. It, it kind of sucks sometimes. You end up spending like seventeen dollars. You know, I, I see that. That's why you take the defensive backs out, so you know you yeah. can have their leftovers. Have their take, leftovers because they never they, eat it. They don't really eat it, right? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's something else. And as you, as a leader, Cam, been with those DBs, man, those young guys. How you, how you helping to mold those guys? It's, it's actually funny, you know. I take, uh, I take those guys under my wing and. Some of the guys that I helped, you know, get here with recruitment, you know, I told them even on their visit, you know, I'm, I didn't experience, you know, the, the the level of leadership coming down on me, you know, from an older uh, companion. But now I feel like I can be that guy to, you know, coach him up and give him the little tips that I've learned from the different coaches that I've had and also from the years that I've played. And, uh, you know, they, 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 they're so, you know, open to asking questions and things like that. And I, and I tell them, you know, anything you want to know, I'll tell you. I don't, competition is competition, but I want the best out of this whole group so we can be the best that we can be in the country. Yeah, we notice that in the games too, though. Those, those guys are looking up to you. You know, a play need to be made. I see you out there yelling and excited. I mean, they're looking for you. Yeah, and, and I take that upon myself. And I put the, you know, the weight of the, the team on my shoulders when it comes down to, you know, a third down that's crucial or even on, you know, the opening play. I want to be the guy to make the play. And I think that's, you know, something that I, you know, instill in them, you know, be the one who wants to make the play. Be the one who you want the last play to come down to, you know, so that confidence is there. So at any given moment, they can make a play. And Forrest, I mean, I know you guys have to be in really good shape. I mean, this NASCAR with, with this fast offense. Mm -hmm. How is it for linemen that constantly over and over <laughs> have to be on the line of scrimmage? Um, it's definitely a little different this year running the fast paced offense. Uh, we did a lot of a lot of conditioning over the summer and uh, we still do some extra conditioning now because just being as big as we are, it takes a little bit more for us to get in shape than the smaller guys. And uh, but it's good. Uh, I mean, we love our fast paced offense. And, you know, being a leader and going so fast and get those guys. I mean, if the guys are not in shape, how hard is it to play in this offense? It's uh, <laughs> it's really hard because like the defensive line and uh, a lot of the defense, they sub out every couple plays. But the offensive line and even with our wide receivers, we sub out and running backs. But the offensive line, we never sub. You wow. know, it's we're in for the whole game, mostly every play, unless you basically cramp up. So you don't really have a choice. Like, you have to be in shape. <laughs> yeah, you have to be ready to go. If you're not in shape, you can't play. And I learned also, too, we talked to Dowdy, interviewing Dowdy, mm -hmm. uh, Leon, all the receivers. All they talk about is the offensive line. They yeah. said, you know what, nothing gets started unless the offensive line is blocking. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, they gave you guys all the credit. Yeah, they do. They do a great job of that, and we really appreciate it. And how about, the, I mean, they, they love to run behind you. Yeah. They said, when Forrest, and we got to pull, and we, we got to go behind Forrest, uh -huh. Leon said, I'm definitely going behind him. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, me and Leon used to play each other in high school. So we've known each other since uh, junior, senior year of high school. So we have a real close bond. So who, who won in high school? Uh, <laughs> he won. Uh, we won my sophomore year, and then he won uh, our junior and senior year. Wow. Yeah, our, our school is a real big rivalry. I mean, it's big time football in Florida. I mean, mm -hmm. it's. I mean, you have those jamborees. Yeah, and all. bigger than New Jersey. Oh, bigger than New Jersey? A lot bigger. Oh, so the basketball is different, though. Yeah, they don't want Bas to basketball. Yeah, basketball is a little different. They don't want it's a little different? Yeah, it's definitely a little different. <laughs> and I noticed that Coach Brom was on the show, and we talked about you, and he mentioned how the reason you're not getting a lot of interceptions, and a lot, they, they never go to you. They're not going to your side. You've been yeah. more like the, you know, shutdown corner. Yeah, and I, uh, it's, it's bittersweet because, you know, it's respecting. You, you, you love being respected by your opponent, but at the same time, you, you just get a to sleep, basically. But I, I, I do a good job of, you know, make sure that I'm just in tune with the game, running to the ball the opposite side of the field and things like that. And it kind of sucks, you know, the last game I didn't get a lot of action, played 93 plays and only got, you know, seven plays where I really got, got action. But I just try to, you know, keep the guys motivated and make sure that they kept a smile on their face, especially in the second and the third overtime. Like, smile, guys, this is what you, this is what you live for. This is the, these are the moments that you really live for in college football. It sounds like Richard Sherman talked about that too. He was on. He's talked. Why? Why didn't the ball come to him? And all he said that's the same thing. Long as they can cut the half of the field, yeah. that makes our team better. Yeah, definitely. And that's what they did. I mean, they they cut cut my half of the field off. But at the same time, we uh we we made plays when the plays did come to us. And on the other side, uh, they did as well. And you know, we let the last two games slip away, but we getting back on track. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for coming out. Be back to you after these messages. Hey, Hilltopper fans, I know you're hungry for our next home game. And while you're out tailgating with your IGA products, you could be a winner.
I have big news. Bacon and cheese have been stuffed in a crust. Pizza Hut's new bacon and cheese stuffed crust with hardwood smoked bacon and a blend of three cheeses. For a limited time, get a large one topping for just $11.99 and a free two liter of Pepsi when you order online. Order now at PizzaHut.com. There's a big difference between a network and a community. In a community, you feel like you can do anything because those around you will support you every step of the way. Bluegrass Cellular is a community, a community with 4G nationwide coverage and all the latest smartphones and devices. That enables you to take the people who matter the most with you everywhere you go. Bluegrass Cellular, your community expanded. You were just supposed to buy the couch. What did you do? <laughs> to get the best deal, I had to buy the set. Why did you buy extra things we don't need? You shouldn't have to buy what you don't want. If you just want internet, choose Time Warner Cable's everyday low price internet for only $14.99 a month with no extra products to buy or long-term contract to sign. And it's not a promotional price. You make the call. Choose better. Call today or visit TWC.com now to get everyday low price internet for $14.99 a month. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Hilltopper fans, Scott Waste Services have teamed up with WKU Athletics and Coca-Cola to bring you the Scott Waste Services Recycling Roundup. Please recycle your plastic cups and Dasani water bottles by placing them in the bottle-shaped containers located throughout the concourse of Houchins LT Smith Stadium. With your help, we can reduce the amount of plastic that is sent to the landfill and keep our stadium clean. Thanks, Scott Waste, and remember, Hilltopper fans, good sports always recycle. Go Tops. I like that Passport's right here in Kentucky. That's why I choose Passport. We choose Passport because there's no cost to us. I choose Passport because they helped my mom get the care she needed. We choose Passport because of her. Why will you choose Passport? Call 1-800-578-0603 and choose Passport, a proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Passport Health Plan. We take the time to care. Okay, we made it. Thanks, guys. Are y'all having car trouble? Betsy here? Well, she's seen better days. Yeah, we need some new wheels. Well, you've come to the right place. At Toyota of Bowling Green, we have a wide selection of quality used cars, trucks, and SUVs. And the best part is, if you don't love it, bring it back. We'll take it. Great, you're gonna love it. Hope you don't mind if we pay you in cash. <laughs> Betsy's trunk is full of these. Toyota of Bowling Green. We, we take, take care of people. people. It's the $6.99 Pick Your Pears deal at Pizza Hut. Pick two medium pizzas and a total of four toppings for $6.99 each. Want two toppings on one and two on the other? Three and one? Get it however you want and on your favorite crusts. Pan thin and crispier hand toss. Just $6.99 a pizza. Pizza Hut. Welcome back to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the Fisher Wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Now to the feature with Coach Jamarcus Shepard. Defender know what you're doing. You down here, you should know. He know what you're doing. You gotta win. My name is Jamarcus Shepard. I coach the wide receivers here at Western Kentucky University, and I'm originally from Fort Wayne, Indiana, uh, up in Northeast Indiana. My coaching career actually started in Indiana. Um, after I finished uh, playing football at DePaul University, I coached some high school ball at my alma mater up in Fort Wayne at uh, Fort Wayne Northrop. And then I coached a little bit of high school down in Indianapolis. Um, for the majority of my collegiate coaching career, I've been here at Western Kentucky. So this will be my fourth season here at Western. So I'm probably the longest tenured staff member here at Western Kentucky. Woo! Okay, I hey, hey. Oh, my bad. My bad. Press coverage too. A good friend of mine, Fred Gibson, he's an associate professor in the kinesiology department. He, him and I were introduced through uh, one of my former jobs and uh, he sort of just asked me what I wanted to do for my career. I told him I wanted to coach football. Luckily, um, he knew Coach Taggart very well. I came here, I met Coach Taggart. He gave me an opportunity to just volunteer, help out. And from that, it all worked out to meeting Coach Brom. Coach Brown being a great coach and a great person gave me my first real opportunity as a position coach here at Western Kentucky. So I'm here and I'm here to stay. When I'm recruiting and I want to convince them that Western Kentucky is the place to be, 
a lot of times I talk to them about four of my main core goals as a coach to let them know that they're going to graduate with a great degree. Um, so that leads me into talking about some of the great programs here at Western Kentucky because I've taught a couple courses here. It, uh, it actually made it makes it a lot easier for me to actually speak from experience. A lot of times I talk to them about our offense and what Coach Brom is, is creating here. Um, yes, we use a lot of what we've done in the past, but uh, he's, he's putting his own mark on it as well just to make sure that, you know what, we're staying you know, with the present times and, and what's current. Um, so I talked to them about getting a PhD in football. And then uh, I also talked to them about being, growing personally. Um, that's huge to me. You know, I have a young, young son and daughter and my son wants to be up here a lot, which is great, you know, a lot of families here. You know, I want them to understand that, you know, our children are gonna to wanna to be like them someday. So, you know, if they're wanting to run around wearing your jersey, then I want them to be like people that I want them to be like. Um, the last thing is, and I talked to them about growing spiritually, you know, those are important things to them. What you down there for? Ain't nothing going on down there. Ties up. As far as the Conference USA move is concerned, I think it's great for the university. You know, I sort of know where we came from with the Sun Belt. I mean, if you know the history of Western Kentucky and all that it's kind of gone through in order to get to this point now, I mean, you can't be anything but excited about us moving to Conference USA. I think it'll renew some of the rivalries that we've had before. You know, in addition to that, we're going to get to play some of the teams that we actually played in the Sun Belt and then renew some of the old rivalries from back in the day and then play some new teams. It's good for our fans because when they travel, they'll get to travel to some new sites some new destinations, uh, places that they probably haven't gone in a long time. So it, it'll be a good opportunity for them to see parts of the country that they haven't seen. And then obviously our players will get that same opportunity. So I, I think that's, that's just huge. And then plus with all the bowl tie-ins, I mean, you can't complain about that. I mean, you do, if you do what you're supposed to do uh, in the Conference USA, you'll get an opportunity to play in one of those postseason bowls and everybody come and enjoy the sun when it's winter up here in Bowling Green. This season, I think that the number one goal for us is to win the conference championship. And if that's not the goal of any of our players, then I would second guess why they're on our football team. That's, that's what we strive for. We're going to win a conference championship and, and do it with class and go to a bowl game. Uh, obviously, that's a huge goal for us, for the university, to make it to a bowl game and not just make it to a bowl game, but to win the bowl game, okay? Um, I think we have a, a lot of great players returning this year and we've added a lot of great players too from various areas of the country. Uh, I think that with all that put together, we'll have a great shot at actually doing that. Be physical, back with him. If you want to be physical, do be physical. That's what the game is about. Be physical. Good job, too. Be physical. I'm so glad I decided to shop at Priceless IGA for the game today. You saved so much money. Mm -hmm. We should... When you're part of a community, you feel empowered, like you can handle anything. Because no matter what happens, you have the support of those around you, people who genuinely care. With Bluegrass Cellular's 4G nationwide coverage and all the latest smartphones and devices, you can go anywhere and do anything because your community will be with you, supporting you every step of the way. Bluegrass Cellular, your community, expanded. Gotta be good. Good? Good. Gross is the goal. How do we do that? I talked to UPS. They'll help us out. 
New technology, smart advice. We focus on the business and they take care of the logistics. UPS. Good going. We get good. That's great. 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 <laughs> I love logistics. Hey, Hilltopper fans. Starting this season, WKU Athletics is launching a women's fan club to help bring together female Hilltopper fans. By partnering with local businesses, this group will offer female fans unique VIP opportunities and access to exclusive events like a football women's clinic and pregame meet and greets. For more information on how you can get involved, visit WKUSports.com and be sure to wear your red throughout the year. I like that Passport's right here in Kentucky. That's why I choose Passport. We choose Passport because there's no cost to us. I choose Passport because they helped my mom get the care she needed. We choose Passport because of her. Why will you choose Passport? Call 1-800-578-0603 and choose Passport, a proud sponsor of WKU's Hilltoppers with Heart. Passport Health Plan. We take the time to care. I'm so glad I decided to shop at Priceless IGA for the game today. You save so much money. Mm -hmm. We should... Welcome to the Coach's Corner, presented by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Make sure you tune in next week when Coach Brom with the Toyota play of the game and also the highlights of Navy. Thanks for watching the Coach's Corner. As the presenting sponsor of Hilltoppers with Heart, Passport Health Plan is proud to serve Western Kentucky University and Hilltopper fans across the state with all their health care provider needs. Coach's Corner with Jeff Brom is brought to you by Bluegrass Cellular, the official wireless sponsor of WKU Athletics. Bluegrass Cellular, your community expanded. Interventional pain specialist. Pain is inevitable, suffering is optional. Pizza Hut, home of the big dinner box. Make it great. Taco Bell, Taco Bell's new dollar cravings menu, Taco Bell, because sometimes you gotta live moss. Toyota Bowling Green, we take care of people. UPS. Today's logistics of the game are delivered by UPS. Information about how UPS can put the power of logistics to work for you at thenewlogistics.com and by WKONA. Nowhere to go. The preceding program has been a presentation of the Hilltopper Sports Satellite Network, produced by Hilltopper IMG Sports Marketing. WKUPBS will now return to this channel.